This weekend was crazy from fights, YouTube drama, weddings, and Cara Delevingne. Let's get into everything right now. First, let's talk about the Billboard Music Awards because that took place last night and it was all everyone was chatting about. Every video I saw on the red carpet had Cara Delevingne somehow fangirling over somebody. From Meg Thee Stallion to Doja Cat to Kylie and Travis, she was everywhere and I don't know how. And also people keep joking about how Meg Thee Stallion needs a restraining order against her. And how about Liza Koshy in the back of this video? What's going on with that? Anyway, the controversies last night came in as the Billboard Music Awards was the first time Travis Scott was performing since the tragedy that occurred at Astro World. Obviously, people online had their thoughts and opinions with him being back on stage. He had Kylie and Stormy there with him as they were together pretty much the entire event, and Kylie was posting about it all over on social media, which has people feeling like she was doing that in order to make this a family-focused performance to help any negativity surrounding him being at the show. But I for sure want to know how you guys feel about this and what you guys think because there were a lot of opinions floating around on the internet last night, especially Twitter with this one. This is something a lot of people obviously have a lot of feelings about. But speaking of Kylie, aside from the fact that her sister can't cut a cucumber. Be careful because I, I nicked myself the other day. I know, I'm kind of scared. If you guys watched the recent Keeping Up with the Kardashians episode, then you know people are trolling Kendall for cutting a cucumber like this. But Kylie was obviously not in attendance at her sister Courtney's wedding since she was obviously with Travis in Vegas at the Billboard Music Awards. But Courtney and Travis Barker apparently got married over the weekend and it looks like no other members of the family were at the wedding except for their grandmother, MJ. So not Courtney's kids, which was a controversy on one of the recent episodes because they weren't at the proposal and the kids were really upset about that. And it looks like she also decided not to include her sisters or her mom at the wedding which took place at a courthouse in Santa Barbara. The two of them did make an official appearance as a husband and wife on Travis Barker's daughter Alabama's Live, where she showed the newlyweds in her room. Wow, you guys are really dressed up. <laughs> yes, they did. Look at me. That's pretty stuffy. Look at me. Yeah, wow. Wow. You got that for him? Wow. <laughs> We're sparkly. You guys are. We couldn't find makeup today and I was almost like, should Alabama do my makeup? I would have. You guys, they're hugging, just standing here. <laughs> <laughs> like, they just carried me in the front door. So I guess congratulations to the happy couple. They did it how they wanted to because Courtney on Keeping Up With The Kardashians said she didn't want anybody at their wedding. So cheers to them. Now, before we get into James, what the heck was this creator's clash? This is something that we need to talk about because this is something that occurred this weekend. There was this random creator's fight this weekend that was so randomly selected, like the people in it, I was like, oh my God, really? But it happened this weekend and I saw some people talking about it on Twitter we're obviously keeping up with the trend that has been going on for the last couple of years of creators becoming fighters. This is just something that everybody wants to do these days. But this one took place in Florida and featured 18 influencers in their first ever boxing match. It was created and led by YouTuber iDubs and all 18 fighters have trained with boxing professionals for the past six to eight months leading up to this fight. It included Dad vs. Matt Watson, Ryan McGee vs. Alex Ernst, Internet Common Etiquette vs. DJ Welch, Yodeling Haley vs. Just Amix, I Did a Thing vs. The Odd Ones Out, Michael Reeves vs. Graham Stephan, Hunter vs. AB from VH3 Podcast, Evan Mealtime's Harley vs. Aaron Hansen, and iDubs vs. Dr. Mike. Obviously, people from H3 were hyped to support AB and were posting this weekend like crazy about the whole experience. Unfortunately for the H3 team, Hunter defeated AB by total knockout. But as for Alex Ernst from the vlog squad, he defeated Ryan McGee by unanimous decision and David was at home cheering him on. Come on, Al. Let's go. Let's go. Alex in his first boxing match ever. 
He went from white tables to boxing. Come on. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I also just can't believe Graham Stephan took place in all of this because that man posts financial advice videos and this was like the most random thing for me to find out because sometimes I watch his videos and I did not take him as somebody that was going to spend time training for a fight. But I definitely want to know if you guys paid attention to this, if you guys watched this, but enough with the fights. Well, actually, let's talk about one more fight. One going on between Tana Mojo and James Charles. These two have had beef for quite some time now. Ever since James has gotten called out for his behavior and was canceled, Tana has spoken out saying she does not support James and she doesn't like him. She talked about him a ton on her podcast and it's clear by her friendship with Jeffree Star that she is not on James' side whatsoever. Tana has said James has abused his power with his fans and she does not support and cannot support anyone who would do that. The two of them used to be friends, but obviously that is just not a thing anymore and James has stayed pretty quiet on the subject of Tana, but was bringing her up this week in a TikTok when he had a Hype House friend over, Michael. Michael has been doing this thing recently where he writes down an influencer's name and makes the person playing this game guess the name on the sticky note on their head. And James, oh my goodness, of course, we had to bring some drama into this game. He put Tana's name on James's head and tried to get him to guess who was written on there. And he guessed it immediately acknowledging that he knows he has beef with tana and everybody knows it put a name on your head and you have to guess who it is tana mojo okay how did you know that <laughs> michael if i took your phone right now and looked at your google search history it would be OnlyFans, spongebob memes and who does james charles have beef with <laughs> <laughs> Now, aside from this, James expressed some worry for the future of his YouTube channel and influencing in general during a Q&A, but not really a Q&A on his Instagram this weekend. He was talking to people that were messaging him and just giving his thoughts on some of the things that they were saying to him. And somebody said, rough. I've been a content creator for four years and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go back to a nine to five to support my family because things have been so stagnant lately. Looking at jobs is so discouraging. And James said, I'm so sorry to hear this love. Everyone's kind of in the same boat right now, including me. All of these apps changing their algorithms constantly and no one's content is being seen anymore. It's super discouraging. Try to stay positive and remember that everything happens for a reason. Maybe your new path will open even better doors. Now, James has been super open and honest about his feelings towards the Instagram algorithm specifically. Here on Instagram is where the issue is happening. Um, and I know that a lot of people are experiencing it as well. And it's a major, major algorithm change. Um, I posted some screenshots on my Twitter that I will share with you guys here as well. Um, but basically, I'm going to insert two screenshots of um, just some statistics of my posts that were made, I believe, in like July. So like two months ago. Looking at that data, you guys can obviously see those posts did really, really well. I mean, 3.8 million likes is crazy. You guys are literally so insane and so strong and supportive and I appreciate it so much. And if you saw the little like statistic at the bottom, it said between like 30 and 40 of users were not following me. And the reach was between like 10 to 20 million, which means the posts were, you know, on the explore page. Everyone was seeing them and they were getting a ton of likes, right? Now I want to show you guys um, the same exact statistics for my posts that were made this past week. So about a month and a half later. Also don't think that it takes, you know, a rocket scientist or a genius to look at this data and realize that there is a huge problem and there's a major, major difference in case you don't want to do the math is about a 75% decrease, 75. But I haven't ever heard him talk about all platforms and he's talking about multiple apps changing their algorithms and obviously he has some thoughts and feelings on that and i think a lot of creators have been feeling kind of the same way as of recent i talked about how aaron and carly from the vlog squad mentioned on their podcast that they just aren't really feeling super motivated to make content anymore and they're not feeling creative and as controversial as james is he is a big creator and he's still getting big numbers in terms of views and to hear him say that he is worried about the future of just influencing and thinks the algorithm isn't favoring him and his stuff is being hidden. It is extremely interesting to me. 
And I definitely want to know what you guys think about this. James did try a new video style this week, so I feel like he must be thinking he needs to either change things up or try to be creative to not only keep his fans interested, but also keep himself interested in creating new creative content. Because if you keep making the same thing all the time, some people get burnt out. Literally three days of filming, an entire week of editing. I spent literally just all day alone making all the thumbnails because there are literally 15 videos all in one that are all linked together. It's a choose your own adventure makeup video. If you've never done one before, you guys will have to check out the video. It is so cool. We are so proud of it. And I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy. Get ready. But I definitely wanna know what you guys think about what James had to say and everything else we talked about today that happened over the weekend. Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.